just last month they tried to launch the Space Shuttle Endeavor. Mission was scrubbed. Today they'll be trying again. CNN's John Holloman, as always, joins us to talk us through the launch. John, good morning. Good morning to you. The Shuttle Endeavor poised for liftoff on Launch Pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. CNN's John Zarella at the launch pad says you can see the moon clearly, although there are clouds south of the Kennedy Space Center right now. The crew has just heard that the weather at emergency landing sites around the world is better than predicted as well. The sun is coming up over Cape Canaveral right now. The shuttle liftoff scheduled for one minute after sunup. The shuttle was stuck on the pad back on August 18th when a malfunction in a sensor shut down the countdown in the final second or two. Well, because all three main engines had been fired, they had to be replaced, and it took until today to replace those engines and reschedule the uh, other procedures that had to be gone through before the launch. The countdown has proceeded smoothly for the past 12 hours. In these final seconds, the crew makes final preparations for launch, and what they must be thinking about right now is avoiding another launch abort. It's a dangerous situation for a crew to be out on the launch pad with their equipment ready to blast them into space. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Endeavor's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicles. We're about uh, 20 seconds away from launch now, and we'll listen to NASA commentator Bruce seconds. Buckingham during the final few seconds. 15, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. We have a go for main engine start. Four, three, two, one, and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavour on a mission to study the Earth's ever-changing environment. Houston now controlling. Roger, roll, Endeavour. Endeavour's roll maneuver is underway. Vehicle's now in a heads-down position on course for a 57-degree, 120 nautical mile orbit. Endeavour's engines are now throttling down as the orbiter begins to pass through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower regions of the atmosphere. Endeavour's altitude is already at 20,000 feet. The relative velocity is 1,000 feet per second or approaching 1,000 miles per hour. Endeavor, go with throttle up. Roger, go with throttle up. All three uh, liquid-fueled engines are back at full throttle. Engines are performing at full throttle. The auxiliary power units providing hydraulic power all uh, functioning well, as are the three fuel cells providing electrical power to the vehicle. Endeavour is, uh, altitude is 85,000 feet, downrange from the launch site, 30 nautical miles. Approaching two minutes into the flight, the next event is burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. They're breathing a sigh of relief aboard the shuttle Endeavour right now. The solid rocket boosters are now separated. As you can see, uh, the shuttle is traveling up the east coast of the United States in order to reach an orbit as close as possible to the North Pole. This allows the Space Radar Lab, which is back in the cargo bay, to see almost all the Earth's surface during the 10-day trip. If you're watching our coverage in the eastern United States right now, you might want to look out the window to see if you can see the plume from the solid rockets and the main engines. If you're watching in Europe, you would want to look to the west. The big goal of this mission is to use the space radar to make a three-dimensional map of the Earth. The equipment on board can measure soil moisture, can see beneath the surface of the ocean and the desert, and can look under clouds at volcanoes or through the mists of Rwanda at the gorillas below. Ground-based researchers hope this radar will give them a clear picture of what's under the sands in northwestern China. The goal there is to find some structures used more than 2,000 years ago by travelers on the Silk Road in China. 
mission. There's some uh, controversy uh, about one part of the mission, too. That, Scientists uh, will dump about 100 uh, gallons of diesel fuel into the North Sea to find out if the radar can detect it for more than 100 miles up. If it can, the satellite could be used to monitor illegal dumping in the world's oceans. The German scientists who plan to dump this oil say they'll clean it up as soon as the test is completed. Now, if you were with us a couple of minutes ago at the, uh, at the launch of Endeavour, you saw a camera angle that I have never seen before on a shuttle launch. It's a camera placed right outside the crew's window. We're going to go there and look again at the final few seconds of Endeavour's launch this morning. There you see it. The Space Shuttle Endeavour making its way into orbit more than 100 miles above the Earth. This mission will last for 10 days and will have uh, projects provided by scientists from Japan, from Germany, from Europe, and there'll be ground-based observers all over the world helping the crew in their space radar lab. John Holloman, CNN Reporting.